Hey again, it's me, Alice. I am making yet another video vlog where I haven't had any sleep. And this might become a new thing for me, like vlogging with insomnia or vlogging while an insomniac. That should be a new tag on for me. I guess for whatever reason, like, I'm more inclined to make a video blog when I'm, like, really, like, when I've had, like, zero sleep and I have, like, I need to, like, use up energy to, like, be able to go back to sleep. So I'm more motivated to make a video blog because, like, it, it, it exhausts some creative output. So therefore, using up my energy so I can fall asleep. And it seems to kind of work. So maybe I can like start making them like, like in the, in the middle of the night so that I can fall asleep. So yeah, maybe that's a ticket. I might do an outfit of the day. I kind of like today's outfit. That's basically my outfit today. If I go to bed, I'll, I'll just put this back on later. Because I'm pretty tired. Like, I'm probably not gonna wear this straight to bed. It's not very comfortable to sleep in. Like, like this, this sheer fabric is, is a bit scratchy actually sometimes. But I make my sacrifices for beauty. Or at least to seek my aesthetic, which is my my style that I have. You know, iridescent chic, iridescent chic, or like um, like meat raver. Cause actually, I was looking up like cool new things that I can incorporate into my outfits that are really extra, and almost all of it is technically carnival stuff, like. I'm not talking about Mardi Gras carnival, but I'm talking about like raver festival stuff. Like all this, like the type of thing that you would wear at a performance or if you're performing. Like since I started dressing even more extra lately during Corona, people think that I'm like, like gonna, like I either left the show or a dance recital or that I'm, I'm like in town for something like, like I'm an out of town or like I'm that weird and outlandish because like I, I seem like someone that I'm just performing for something. So a lot of people guess that like I was either dancing or like at an event, at a party, at a special occasion, but I really just dress like this every day. Like not every single day because sometimes I don't have an outfit that's worth vlogging or worth taking pictures of. But like, I still dress pretty extra. Like sometimes more extra than usual. Like this is probably at, at full max. But like sometimes I might just wear just a jacket and normal clothes and then a TT and normal clothes. Like it's not always like all just at once. It depends on like my ability to have the spoons to do it and also the weather or like comfort level. Cause it gets really hot here. I hate the weather. Seriously, when I was in New York back in January of 2019 to visit um, a friend in hospice care, like I actually preferred the cold over there than like when I came back here to the cold here. Cause here is like wet cold. And in, in New York, it's dry cold. It's drier cold, at least. 
I do like this mask a lot, but I kind of feel like it doesn't fit me as well. Maybe my face is just shaped weird. Like, the ones that come country clothing are like almost perfect for me. Maybe it's just the way my face is naturally shaped. Like, I feel like I can, or maybe it's more effective because I have trouble breathing through this mask. I don't know. It's, it's so relative, I think. Actually, I'm just gonna take this mask off because there's no one nearby. Like, that's a lot better, actually. I think this is my first time vlogging about a mask in a while. Like, I usually have my mask on almost in all my other entries. But I just couldn't breathe through this and walk and talk at the same time, like, with the mask on. You know, that, that kind of rhymes, but you know what I mean. Like, I just couldn't, like, continue doing that. And, like, there's not that many people out right now. Like, it's almost deserted. I mean, in terms of, like, people within six feet of me. Because, like, it's early in the morning. Or at least early by, like, my standards. I actually really enjoy going to bed early and waking up early and having the day to myself. I really like that. Like, but I, what I do not like is waking up. I'm not, not going to sleep at all. And then, like, the next day I'm still up. That's so gross. But I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna try to get my sleep schedule back on track again. I've heard talks about how like the cases are surging with Corona, the dreaded C word. Um, like I actually there was actually a joke that happened recently. Like I was at um, a friend's birthday party, and like. We were saying that Corona was the C word, and then like there was a swear word that everyone was like, oh, um, you know, better that swear word that starts to like, see that prof profane word than Corona. And like, like everyone else was thinking of the word crap, or at least that's what like uh, my friend Ambiga was thinking. But I was like thinking, oh, like the more explicit C word, basically like, you know, like, cunt, basically. And, like, and as soon as I said that, everyone started laughing. But, like, I really, like, thought it was the more obscene one that that was okay to say, like. But I'm just, yeah. I, I wonder if there's any other, like, random profanity words that you can't say to start with C besides those two. I can't think of anything. But... I guess I'll put a warning that I, I swore in my own video. Because I actually really swear in my videos. Like, I try not to. Because I, I guess I, I was raised, like, to believe that swearing is wrong. And I really prefer, like, not to swear. It's probably out of guilt and obligation. But, like, I guess I don't swear naturally anyways. Like, unless I'm really angry or upset, like, I, I don't swear that much. But I've been swearing more lately, because, like, like, if my friends swear more, I start to swear more. Like, uh, my friend Ellery, he's, he swears like a sailor. And, like, um, he's also from California, so he says hella a lot. Like, hella rad, hella cool. Not that he's a stereotypical surfer dude, but, like, um, that's what they say in California for swear words, it's hella. Like, like hell of an A at the end. I was born in California, but I never really like grew up there. Like, I left there when I was still like, like basically barely five years old. I remember Vietnam actually when I lived there from when I was six to seven ish, or no five to six ish, and then I lived in Las Vegas from when I was like six or seven ish to like fifteen. I really live in a lot of different places, like all over. Where are you from? All over. Uh, where do you grow up? Uh, multiple places. 
which place did you spend more time in? Well, I mean, it's kind of a bit of a both, a toss-up between Houston and Las Vegas. But, you know, I guess it's all relative. Like, people think that my family was from the military or something, or that I was a military brat to have moved around so much, but that, that wasn't really why. It's just that I just, my parents moved us around a lot, and so that's how I ended up living in so many places. And so, yeah, like, um, I hope you all, like, have a wonderful day. And stay safe. Um, don't do anything too wild. Or if you do, do it within reason. And um, have a wonderful day. Bye.